Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited for today's video because I have for you the brand new FabFitFun Fall 2024 box. I will be going over all of the different choices you can pick from, the pros and cons of each, and what I ended up choosing. And spoiler alert, the Fall 2024 box this year is valued up to $350. And I was surprised that my picks ended up coming very close to that amount. This video is very generously sponsored by FabFitFun. I'm always so excited to partner with them because they are my favorite subscription box. Unlike many other subscription boxes in the past that I have tried and canceled that send you just a bag of random tiny samples. With FabFitFun, you can choose every single full-size product so that the box is fully customized and curated to fit your lifestyle. And they don't just have beauty and skincare products, they have all lifestyle categories, including home decor, health, wellness, and stuff for my pets, which I love. And FabFitFun partners with some of my favorite brands like Coach, Free People, Kate Spade, Fenty Beauty, so you can choose what works best for you and nothing goes to waste. If you wanna try FabFitFun, I have some great offers for you. If you sign up for the seasonal membership, that's where you pay per box, you can use my code HEATED to receive 20% off of your first box. When you use my code, you'll get a box again valued up to $350 for as low as $55.99. Or you can sign up for an annual membership which I prefer. You get a ton more benefits, including earlier shipping for your box. You get first access so that none of the choices sell out and you get like first dibs to pick your products. And you also get early access to the flash sales. At these flash sales, you have access to shop some amazing brands like Prada, Glossier, Fenty Beauty, Summer Fridays for up to 70% off. I will put all the information, all the links, all the codes in the description below so you can go ahead and click to sign up. Again, if you use my code HEATED for a seasonal membership, you'll save 20% off your first box or you can sign up for my preferred annual membership and use my code HEATED GIFT for a free gift worth over $200. And again, with an annual membership, you get bonus benefits. In addition to fully choosing every single product in your box, you get early choice, you get early shipping on your box, and early access to the flash sales. So let's go ahead and go over all of the options for the fall 2024 box and I'll show you what I chose. Starting off with choice one and I'll save the best for last, the one that I ended up picking. We have the KitchenAid loaf pan. This retails for $29.99. I do love the sea foam color, but I don't need a loaf pan in my kitchen. A lot of the home like kitchen stuff, it's, you know, could be hit or miss for me personally because I do have a pretty much fully stocked kitchen. So unless I have something that I need to replace or maybe gift to someone else, I usually don't go for these. But if you are kind of starting off on your own or if you, there's like a wedding or home housewarming party or someone who just moved into a new home, this would be a great gift. Also in homeware, we have the KitchenAid cookie bundle set for $45. This has two like cookie sheet trays and then a spatula, very cute. Don't need that, so I passed. Next up, we have something for the home, the Sunday Citizen Snug Throw, and this is available in two colors. You have the buttercream in a very pretty beige, and then you also have it in this pretty like rustic orange brown in the shade Masala. This retails for $65. It looks so comfy and soft, and I usually default to blankets because we are a huge blankets and throws family. We have movie night every Friday and I have three boys and they're always building like some kind of a blanket fort. But I pass on this because I don't need another blanket, but it's a looks like a great option. Again, for the home kitchenware, we have the Sin Urch Decorative Glass Bowls set of three for $42. This looks very nice, but I didn't like the base of this <laughs> for me personally, because again, I have three kids. I have two dogs. I just need a more stable bowl if I'm gonna have like a, a glass bowl. So I skipped that. So those glass bowls retail for $42 for a set of three. Next from the same brand, Sin Fauna, we have this glass oil dispenser that retails for $60. I already have an olive oil dispenser that is a similar like spigot to this, but I so I do recommend something like this if you don't already have it. It has a cork in the middle, so it's easy to refill. And then the little spout, the little pour spout, it makes it a lot easier to cook and you know make olive oil dressings or whatever that again retails for $60 so I passed because I already own it something similar. Next up is a purse from the brand Forth and Reckless. I have not heard of this brand. It is a faux suede crescent bag like a hobo style bag with one shoulder strap and it looks like these straps are adjustable which is nice. It's a nice neutral faux suede color and this like saddle brown. This retails for $60. I really do not need another purse style bag. If it were a travel bag, I would reconsider, but this I really didn't need. 
but it's a very nice style if you are looking for something like that. Next from one of my favorite skincare makeup brands from Kapari Beauty, we have the Moisture Whip Ceramide Cream for $42. I passed on this because I ended up picking another beauty item from this category. Um, I haven't tried their Moisture Whip Ceramide Cream. I do like Kapari Beauty. I really like their SPF and their sun care, sunscreen stuff. So I would try that out in the future. And then the last item that I did not pick is from Gear, G-I-R. It's a set of three utensils and a ceramic holder. So this comes with a spoon, a spatula, and then a whisk. This retails for $78.85. I like that it has a holder. Again, this is a great set to set up a new kitchen. So I passed because I don't need it. But what I did end up getting, this one was a no brainer. I got this immediately as soon as I saw it was available. I got the Elemis Pro Collagen Naked Cleansing Balm. This is hands down my favorite cleansing balm. If you have not heard of a cleansing balm, this is a necessity if you're doing a double cleanse. Oh my God, it comes with a cleansing cloth. That's so nice. <laughs> I forget that this comes with a cleansing cloth. So you get the very nice cotton Elemis full face wash cleansing cloth. And then the actual balm, I'm, I don't know if I wanna open this because I already have one, but I'll, I'll show it to you. So here is the cleansing balm. These are great to do a double cleanse. That's what it looks like. You get a little scoop of that you rub it all over your face. It really melts into your pores and washes away all of the dirt, even really stubborn waterproof eye makeup. And it doesn't irritate my eyes. I wear contacts, so that's something that I always look out for. But this is such a great cleansing balm. I definitely recommend doing a cleansing balm every few days. You don't have to do it every day to do a double cleanse and then you follow up with like another uh, more of a soapy or foamy cleanser. But I really feel a difference in how soft my skin looks and feels and it just looks more radiant and it really gets out all of that heavy makeup. If I attended like a wedding or any kind of an event and I'm wearing a lot of makeup, I will always use the Elmas Cleansing Balm. So when I saw this on the list, I had to snatch this up because this retails for $69. It can be very pricey. I try to get it on sale, but it's definitely worth it but it's even better when it's part of the FabFitFun box. So for choice one, it was a no brainer. I got the Elemis cleansing balm that came with a cleansing cloth. Okay, for choice two, once again, the item I ended up picking was first on the list, but I'll go through all the different options for you. The runner up that I would have picked if this first item wasn't there is this Radley London jewelry box. It retails for $98. I have really been into jewelry recently, especially fine jewelry. So I like to keep certain you know brands or styles or categories together. I separate my silver and white gold from my yellow gold jewelry, my costume jewelry from my fine jewelry. So I have different containers. I don't keep all my jewelry in one spot. So the Radley London jewelry box would have been a great choice had I not already gotten a few other jewelry boxes. But if you are looking to organize and store your jewelry, that one is a great option. Next from the brand Mucklux, the Kirsty Slide in this shade Irish Cream, which is like a light coffee shade. This retails for $49. They look so comfy and cozy. I have a very similar pair, I think from Ugg. So I passed on that. So if you're looking for a pair of very nice fuzzy slides, you can wear this as either house slippers, it's platform, so you can wear this going out if you want, but they are very cute. I pass on it because I don't need it. Next up was a bag. This also was a contender as a runner up from Puma. It's their sling bag, it's $45. It's in this very light, cream color. I think that might be why I passed on it, but I really didn't need another sling bag. That's my favorite most used type of bag is just a belt bag or sling bag, something that I can just kind of throw over my shoulder and be hands-free. I think I didn't get it because again, it's in a cream, like a very light color. So it really wouldn't have gone with a lot of my outfits, I guess. I, I usually just default to black just because again, with my kids and my dogs, things get scuffed up easily, but this is very cute if you're into that beige aesthetic and if you want to be hands-free when you're being active we have the puma sling bag for 45 dollars next from dr jart they have the sika pear intensive soothing repair cream this retails for 52 dollars i just didn't really need this i i don't need another cream lotion i've tried dr jart but i haven't tried this specific sika pear intensive soothing repair cream i think this would be a great option if you have like eczema or very sensitive skin that turns red or something, then you might want to try this one. Next, you have the Asobu Pick Me Up Ceramic Coated Tumbler. It came in two colors. You have Merlot, which is like a burgundy, and then Crab Apple, which looks like a salmon color. This retails for $49.99. I cannot bring any more cups, thermoses, mugs into my kitchen. <laughs> I have a lot. I didn't need any, but I do appreciate a thermos, cooler, hot drink mug that we can use 
you know, we go on road trips a lot and I like to pack my own coffee. So if I didn't have any, any other thermoses <laughs> to go travel containers for drinks, I might've picked these. And then next from Ola Henriksen, we have the Truth Serum Hydrating Vitamin C Serum. This retails for $56. This is such a great vitamin C serum, you guys. I would have considered this if I didn't already have like two vitamin C serums that I'm working through. And with vitamin C serum, because it oxidizes so quickly or, you know, it kind of turns over, you really need to like work through it. And it's, it's not a good idea to have a lot of backups of these because it might expire. So if I were on the end of my current vitamin C cycle. <laughs> I would have picked this up, but I'm working on another one, but it's a very, very good vitamin C. It's very hydrating. It really makes a difference. It really brightens. I think it makes my skin look really radiant and smooth and it's very pricey. This retails for $56. So this would have been a good option, but I passed because again, I have another one that I'm working through. So for choice two, I ended up going with a pair of sunglasses from one of my favorite contemporary brands, Kate Spade. This is the Kate Spade Emmeline Rose Gold Aviator Sunglasses. I just love the rose gold shade of the metal. I love that the lenses are kind of brownish and then you have this very pretty tortoise shell in the arms. And I just think it's so pretty. I love Aviator, the style of Aviators. They're just so classic, traditional, so flattering. And I think it has like kind of a gradient with the dark, is it gradient? I can't tell. It looks like it's a little darker and then it fades in the bottom. Very pretty classic aviator shades. I usually opt for sunglasses. I love Kate Spade, all her accessories. So with these, I will probably keep in my car as a backup pair, but this was a no brainer for me. Guys, this retails for $129. So at $129, this is the most expensive product in my box. I didn't choose it for the price. I did choose it because I will definitely get a ton of use out of it. But very nice option from Kate Spade for choice two. Next for choice three, the first on the list that I passed on is a pair of earrings. This is from the brand Ellie Vale. It's the Lorette Medium Hoop Earring in Silver. It retails for $61. I don't need another pair of earrings. They have to be very unique for me, I think, for me to choose another set of earrings. So I passed on that because I don't need another pair of hoop earrings. I also don't tend to wear silver, so I pass on that. Next up from Herbivore Botanicals, we have the Milky Way 10% AHA and Oat Soothing Exfoliating Serum. This retails for $58. I haven't tried this specific product. I do like Herbivore Botanicals. I don't tend to gravitate towards an exfoliating serum. I like physical exfoliants. I don't know why. I just like to feel it. I think with exfoliating serums, I just can't tell. Like I'm not sure if it'll be too harsh on my skin. So I passed. Also, I have a kind of a set skincare routine, but if you're looking for a serum, you might want to try that out. Next, we have the Tarte Man Eater Mascara. This retails for $27. I really do like this mascara. I have a, a few that I'm already going through. Again, with mascara, just like vitamin C serums, they have a shelf life. I have a few that are already open that I'm kind of rotating between. So I didn't want to open up another mascara or have a backup. I have I have a lot of mascaras. But if you're looking for a new one, I would recommend this. I really like the fluffy brush from this Manator Mascara from Tarte. Next up for hair care, we have the Briogeo Style and Treat Yuzu and Plum Soft Power Air Dry Cream. This retails for $26. I really like Briogeo Shampoo and Conditioner. I, I always get the travel set of travel shampoo and conditioner from Briogeo when I travel. And I have not tried this product from them. I do like yuzu, which is like a Japanese, I think, citric fruit, like a lemon. It's kind of like a lemon orange, or like a cross between those two. I didn't get this dry cream because I don't like to put additional styling creams on my hair. My hair is pretty easy to maintain. Thankfully, I just let it kind of air dry. I brush through it. And so if I don't have to put styling creams or styling products in it after I wash it, I tend to try to not put anything in my hair other than maybe an oil at the ends. So I didn't try this, but I'm curious, you know, how it works. I would try it out at some point in the future, maybe. And then finally, we have a candle from the brand Dev, D-E-H-V. We have the Dev Candle Company Spiced Woods Candle. This retails for $48. I do like the scent. So the candle scent is called Spiced Woods, and it actually tells you on the front of the candle the different notes, including vanilla, saffron, Oris, I can't read the second word, something wood, cardamom, and cedar wood. So I usually would like this type of a scent for the home. I like really warm, woodsy, balsam, cedar type fragrances for a home scent. 
but I passed on all of these. So for choice three, I went with this Aloha umbrella. It is the Aloha Collection umbrella. This retails for $46. I love this bright color with this like Hawaiian type leaf pattern. Here is the tag if you're curious. And I have not heard of this brand, Aloha. Here are the different specs. We go through umbrellas a lot. I don't know, they break. We are always outside, we're doing activities. I live in Georgia. We also travel to Florida all the time. So we always keep multiple umbrellas in our cars. So I like that this is a travel portable size with a slip case. And I like that it has a button to open and retract it. It also has a little carrying handle. Maybe it's a boring choice, but it's something that I will definitely use. So this will live in my car so that next time there is a downpour, like a sudden downpour that happens in Georgia, I will be covered. So that is what I picked for choice three. Next up for choice four, starting with the brand Nude Sticks, it's the Gel Color Lip and Cheek Balm in the shade Posh. This retails for $27. I'm a huge fan of Nude Sticks. I like their bundles where it comes with a like reddish shade for your lips and maybe your cheeks. A lot of them will have a highlight and then also a contour shade. I passed on this, even though I do like the brand, only because the color I thought was a little too light for me as a lip and cheek. Maybe cheek, but I wouldn't wear this on my lips. Like, it's a little too light for me. Looks like it would be more suitable for fair tone skin. But I like their formula because you can use it pretty much all over your face. So that retails for $27. I passed on that because of the color. Next up from the brand Airy. I hadn't heard of this brand. So it's called Live In Mist and it is a leave-in conditioner. This retails for $36. I know I just mentioned I don't like to put product, like styling products in my hair, but I do like leave-in conditioners. I skipped that because I don't need another leave-in conditioner, but I'm curious to try that. I haven't heard of that brand. Next up, we have another hair care product from the brand Sasha Juan. I think it's how it's pronounced. The Heat Protection Hair Cream. This retails for $39. When I do heat style my hair, I do like to use a heat protectant of some sort. I don't really need another one because I don't heat style my hair a lot. So I, I have a heat protectant that has a lot of life left in it. But if you're looking for one, then you, you know, have this great option. This retails for $39. Next, from the brand Marlin Schiff. She is a jewelry designer. We have the Marlin Schiff Adjustable Disc Ring in gold, and it's also available in silver. So it has these, like, alternating side discs with also pave, like, looks like crystals on the alternating side. <laughs> this retails for $42. I like that it is adjustable because with rings, it's hard to figure out what size you might need. Pass because I don't need another ring. I, I have a lot of rings. This next item was definitely the runner up for me. I would have chosen this if I didn't choose what I did end up picking. The Hanky Panky three piece packing cubes in the shade mauve. Love packing cubes. We travel a lot. I usually have my stuff in packing cubes. I always have my kids stuff in their own packing cubes. It just makes it a lot easier to travel. And then when you're unpacking, you don't have to unpack everything. You can kind of just leave it in the packing cube. So huge fan of packing cubes. This retails for $48. I pass only because I, I don't need another set. Um, but I definitely recommend any kind of packing cubes if you don't use those already. Next up is another hair care product from Color Wow, the Color Security Shampoo. This retails for $24. I don't color my hair, so I don't really need like specifically color treated hair, hair care products. I do like the Color Wow glass hair something. Um, so I skipped this because I don't really need it, but this retails for $24. If you have color treated hair, it might be a great option. Next from the brand Home Court, we have the CC Room Deodorant. This is a brand new category for me. They're always coming out with new things that you can get. I have heard of room fragrances, like a room spray, a home fragrance, home spray. I have not heard of a room deodorant. I guess that would be like Febreze. I don't know. I don't know how this would work. This retails for $45. I'm curious how that would have worked, but I ended up instead going with one of my favorite beauty brands, from Glossier. I chose the Glossier G Suit Soft Touch Lip Cream. This is it in their iconic baby pink packaging. You have the G on the cap. And this is in the shade Drive, which is this really kind of a, almost like a burgundy color. It's like a brownish burgundy, like a dark brown reddish. Surprisingly, I'm wearing this on my lips today. The way that I wear a lot of these like deep, dark, or bright red colors is I usually just wipe it very lightly. I use it as a liner around my lips. So if you just lightly line it and then lightly dab and then kind of sheer it out and just top it with a gloss, you really can sheer out this dark color. So instead of looking like this deep oxblood, 
it just looks like a very natural flush like flush lip on me so i do like the glossier brand and i like this formula this formula is longer wearing than a lip gloss and it's more of a almost like a matte finish but this retails for 24 dollars. and then moving on to choice five the first item is the this is a funny name it's the bush bomb ingrown hair oil this retails for 26 dollars. i just didn't need this if you need this you know, check it out. If you're prone to ingrowns, you might want to try this out. I also passed on the Static Nails Like Acrylic Reusable Pop-On Manicures in the shade Jet Setter. This I feel like is a great deal. It's $18 and you get a set of press-on nails. It says Like Acrylic Reusable Pop-On Manicure and it comes, what looks, it looks like it comes with a nail file and the nail glue. I don't use press-ons, but if you do, then, you know, you might want to consider this. It's a nice neutral color. Next up, we have the One Kind Dream Cream Nighttime Moisturizer. This retails for $40. I haven't heard of this brand. It's marketed as a dream cream nighttime, so I wonder if it, like, smells like lavender or something. I just don't need another moisturizer. The next option is from number seven. It's the Menopause Skincare Protect and Hydrate Day Cream with SPF 30. I wonder if this is just a face cream with SPF. I wonder how it takes into account menopause. I didn't realize that there is specific skincare just for menopausal women, I guess. <laughs> Great option if you're in that phase of life and you want to protect your skin with SPF 30. That retails for $27.99. And the other two I skipped from Bloom Power Patches Pore Purifying Nose Strips. So like almost like Biore nose strips. It comes in a four pack. This retails for $15. I passed on that because I don't really use nose um, strips as much as I used to now that I use my uh, Elemis cleansing balm, which I got from the first choice. And then the last choice that I skipped is the Slick Hair Velcro Roller Kit and Clips. So it looks like it's a set of hair rollers that are the Velcro kind. It looks like it comes in a zip case. It's transparent and then you get the hair clips, which is nice. This retails for $30. I skipped on this because I do like to roll my hair, but I don't like Velcro rollers. I just feel like it pulls and damages my hair. So I opt for just the regular plastic rollers or I actually just got a set of the dry bar um, hot rollers. So I did not need that, but I ended up picking and I'm very excited about it. And maybe this speaks to my current lifestyle, <laughs> but I got this set of the Washland Zero Waste Laundry Detergent Strips. Okay, this retails for $25. You get a set of 32 loads. They look like dryer sheets. So it slides open and then you have these what look like, again, they look like dryer sheets, but you can feel that it's it's like, like a soapy material, I guess. Here's the size of one and you just pop it into your laundry and it just dissolves. So I use the very popular, typical laundry pods, but I've heard that they're not great and sometimes the casing doesn't get completely dissolved. So I have always been wanting to try this, especially because we recently went on vacation and we got an Airbnb that had like an in-unit, you know, uh, washer dryer. They did thankfully include laundry, but we were like right at the end and I was like, oh my gosh, I really need to run another load. Should I go out and get, you know, laundry? But I didn't want to carry the detergent. So this is a great idea if you're traveling and you just want to bring a few like or even one if it's a really short trip and you have access to laundry you just pack one you throw it in a ziploc bag and you're good to go and then it, what is my favorite part is that it doesn't take up any liquids because you're not carrying liquid laundry detergents or you're not carrying loose laundry like powder that might spill everywhere it's just very clean very easy to pack very, you know i mean come on it's like a piece of paper so and it smells so good i'm so excited about this <laughs> So I had to go with this choice for choice five. And finally for choice six, the first option was the Papier Recipe Journal. This retails for $38. I couldn't quite tell what this is. So I'm assuming it's either like a lined journal book, like a diary type, you know, blank book with maybe lines, or it could be a binder where you can insert recipes. I just didn't really need this. Most recipes that I prepare that I cook, I just memorize. If there are some recipes that I, I guess, want to have written down, I usually, I'm, pr I'm printing it out. I don't know. I just, I didn't, didn't really need this, but this is a good option. Maybe if I have my life together and I want to reorganize my kitchen and make it look nicer, because right now they're, they're just kind of thrown. I just have random pieces of paper printed out and thrown in a binder. This might be a, a good option if you want to revamp your kitchen, but I passed on that. Next up from the same brand that I got the umbrella from, it's the Aloha Collection 
bag for $34, similar colors, beige and white. And it just looks like almost like one packing cube, like just one zip pouch. So I didn't really need that, so I passed. Another option I passed on is the Wolven Recovery Cold and Heat Wrap. This retails for $65. I pass on this because we already have a similar kind of a, a recovery heat wrap, or you can put it in the you know freezer and make it cold. I think my husband has something similar just from sports. So I passed on that. Next from the brand Tony Moly, which I really love. I love all of their skincare. It's packaged in such a cute way. I think it's a K-beauty brand. You have the Tony Moly Plumpkin Retinol Eye Cream, and it's literally in the shape of a pumpkin. I have another eye cream from them that's in the shape of a whale, and I don't know what cutesy pun name they have for it, but I pass on this. I do usually default to picking an eye cream just because I go through so many, and I do like that it's a retinol eye cream. However, I wasn't sure from just the name and the description and the packaging. If this smells like pumpkin, I am not a fan of pumpkin scented skincare. I love pumpkin spice lattes. I love pumpkin pie, but I don't like pumpkin in my skincare. I don't like pumpkin fragrances. If it did smell like pumpkin, I, it wasn't going to work for me. So I just passed on that. I also passed on the Dr. Brandt Skincare Lash and Brow Serum. This retails for $58. I know a lot of people who swear by lash serums and brow serums for growing their eyelashes and their eyebrows. I don't ever use serums just because I have kind of sensitive skin and I just didn't want to have any kind of a reaction to this, kind of like a growth serum. So I passed on that, but you know, look up what works best for you guys and your skin. It definitely works for some people. Next from Versed, I don't, I never know if it's Versed or Versed, the Versed Skin Doctor's Visit Resurfacing Mask. This retails for $19.99. I love their skincare. I have like their, I think it's retinol body cream. I passed on this because I, similar to like an exfoliant, when I hear the term resurfacing, I just feel like it might be too harsh on my skin and I just didn't, you know, I'd rather try it out first. And then if I do like it, then I'll pick it, you know, for the next, the next time it comes around in a customization. And then this next item was definitely my runner up from Ola Henriksen. It's the Pout Preserve Lip Treatment. It's $22. When I see the term lip treatment, I look at it like lip mask. I love very like intensely hydrating, moisturizing lip products, lip oil, lip care, lip treatment, lip repair. I don't think I have tried this. I do like Ola Henriksen. I really like their toner, but I haven't tried the this Pout Preserve lip treatment. So I would have picked this if I did not pick what I did end up picking, which is could be boring, but it's something that I know I would definitely use. I chose the Slip Pure Silk Skinny Scrunchies, and it's a set of three. This retails for $22. These are a little pricey for, you know, scrunchies, but these are so perfect for my hair. My hair can be damaged easily, and I always end up using scrunchies. I try not to tie my hair up in like a rubber elastic that will pull and damage and tear and rip it. So I always go with a set of Slip scrunchies and you know just like most scrunchies i end up losing one of these so i also like the slip pillowcase it's like a, their slip satin pillowcases they're also really good for your hair so whenever i um, go to bed i usually wrap my hair and i like to wrap it in the slip silk scrunchie so that it doesn't damage it but i just love slip hair ties their silk scrunchies i love their pillowcases this was just such a great option for me because i know i will definitely get a lot of use out of these scrunchies. All right, guys, that is everything that I picked for my FabFitFun Fall 2024 box. A lot of these are just my go-to staples. We have the cleansing balm, the slip silk scrunchies. I am very excited though about my designer Kate Spade sunglasses. I love this shade. And I'm so excited to try these laundry strips, laundry detergent, you know, solid laundry strips. <laughs> Maybe I'm boring. I'm a mom. We have tons of laundry. I have three boys, so I'm always doing laundry and we're always traveling. But this was everything that I chose. And by the way, I totaled everything up. I don't always do this. I think I'll start doing this. With all the items I picked, the total value of my box came to $315, which is such a steal considering when you sign up for the annual membership, I believe that drops the value down to $55 or something like that. So such a great value for products that I know I will use, products that I love, a lot of the brands that I use and know and love. But let me know what you guys ended up picking for your fall 2024 FabFitFun box. Again, you can use my promo codes and links in the description below to save some money. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in the next video. Bye.